How to control your flash without looking. Hey guys, Omar here. And first of all, we should talk about why that's important. Why not looking at your flash is something you should work on. And for me, it's because as soon as you start fiddling around with gear, people go from like this to this. And your goal as an event photographer should always be to capture that authenticity, that little sparkle in the eye, the realness of a person's smile, even though we all really hate the real way we, <laughs> we smile. So not looking at your equipment and not looking at your flash is important if you want to bring your event photography to the next level. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So we are in the club. <laughs> Oh, look at that. And there's totally some hot babes in this club. Totally my type. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm gonna to show you how to shoot your flash without looking. All right, let's do this. I've got my flash on the camera and it's off. Now, the first thing I wanna do is in order, I'm gonna set my white balance for the room. I'm gonna set an exposure for the room. And then I'm gonna use my flash to figure out what I need, what power do I need to expose for the person in front of me. So let's start with white balance. My white balance is completely off because of my last event. And uh, I'm gonna change that. So I go to my white balance temperature and I am at 3400 and I'm actually gonna go up till visually it matches what I'm seeing. Okay, so I set my white balance and it looks like it's close to daylight. So 5500, that's the first step. The second step I wanna do is make sure that my live, my setting effect uh, for live preview is set to on. That means if I change my settings, my picture will get darker or lighter. And I, because I'm an event photographer, want to keep the, the room ambiance alive. So I'm going to set my shutter speed below my sync speed. Do not go over your camera sync speed. So for this camera, it is usually 160 to 100. I usually live around those shutter speeds. Next, I have my aperture set to 2.8 for this lens. This is the 17 to 28 Tamron lens. And then for ISO, I decide what ISO would I like for this room and this club. It's maybe 640, here we go. Take a test shot and the room looks cool. I can still see the pink, I could still see the blue, yay. Now that set up my exposure for the room. Notice I have not even turned my flash on yet. Your flash's job is just to light up the person in front of you. It's nothing to do with the room, okay? So once I have my room set up, I'm set to go. So I'm gonna take my flash, and if you notice, I got a little flag on it, a black foamy thing, and I'm gonna turn the flash on, and let's start from the lowest power here. I'm going to take a test shot. And that's what I have there. I have the person lit up a little bit. Let's probably get a little closer. Let's take a test shot. And that looks pretty good already at the lowest power. Now here's the big secret on how you could work your flash and your camera without looking. All the changes you make a change the amount of light that goes into the camera. And we measure that amount of camera in stops. And in photography, a stop doubles the light, you get twice as much light, or you get half the light, okay? Now what's cool is every three clicks of a dial is a stop because most dials work in thirds. How'd you guys do in math in school? <laughs> so now I know that, for example, if I wanna change my ISO one full stop, I wanna go brighter on the room, I go one, two, three. Three clicks made the room brighter by one full stop. I doubled the light. I wanna half the light, one, two, three, the room got darker. Another whole half, one, two, three, okay? Three clicks is where it's at. Now your flash powers kind of work the same way, except they work in fractions when you half the light. Now some flashes have numbers like nine, eight, seven, six. It's the same thing. If you go from nine to eight, you're having the light. But I like math and I like seeing the fraction. Right now I'm on 128th, very low. And if I take a test shot, the person is dark and we're dancing. Now without looking, one, two, three, I can double the light. One, two, three, I can double the light and keep dancing. <laughs> so in that example, I took two quick test shots at two different exposures. Watch, I took the first one, the person's too dark. I took a quick glance at it while I'm dancing. I took three clicks of my flash without looking, three more clicks, 
and I just really quickly did two exposures. Now this technique works best with a flash that actually has a dial that you can feel the clicks. Every theory clicks is a stop, so it works great with a dial that has some tactile feedback. I also have seen flashes that have an up and down where you can change, but the simpler your flash, the easier it is. Some flashes sometimes need to be activated first before you change powers. That doesn't work so great. And also if you have a touchscreen flash, that will, uh, that will actually force you to remove the, f the camera and the flash away from your face and look at it to change powers. That doesn't say you can't do it and be more stealthy and be quick. You just have to maybe glance at your flash a little bit more than this. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what that looks like in real life, not looking at your flash. Remember, every three clicks on your flash is a stop, and every stop doubles the light. So you're like raising your dimmer switch. I'm gonna go back down to the lowest power, just so you can see how this happens in real life. You have people dancing, or you have people that are like, can you take our picture? And you're all nervous, because it's your, no, you're not nervous. Because in your room, your attic, your basement, you practice this 1,000 times with a dummy or a plush toy. And with no problem, you can dance. Look, even with Sony, you don't even have to look. First one, I autofocus, grab the person, bam. They're too, they're, you look really, you look down. I have my playback on, by the way. I'm out of breath, the dancing. <laughs> I have my playback on for uh, two seconds so that I could quickly see what the exposure is. So I take a picture of the person, they're too dark. One, two, three, without looking. Another, that's the, my second exposure, one, two, three, and this is the third exposure, okay? If I was taking three exposures. And what's great is the wheel turns, you don't have to know what power you're at. You just have to quickly look. This person's too overexposed. Oops, I went too bright. Let me lower it without looking. Boom. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Just like that. Now, another thing. <laughs> if someone doubles their distance to you, so for example, they go from there to there, if they doubled their distance back, well, that's one stop too. Distance is like a stop. So they went from three feet to six feet. So now I just need, if, if everyone, this always happens at a party, more people sort, sort of start getting in the group and the group went from being here, three people, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight people. And what you do is you already know, you look at the distance and it doubled. So what you do, yay, three little clicks without looking. Let me go back to the power where she was close to me. That's that picture, too dark. I can already tell it's two stops, but I'll show you one, two, three, boom. Got the people there, one, two, three, boom. Got the people there exposed well. Now, um, in this picture, this last one I just noticed, the room ambiance, the colors went away because the person's too close to the background. So that happens too. Let's uh, give you the other example, which is she was here. Watch, she's gonna be too bright now because the exposure was for way back there. So without looking, one, two, three, click, one, two, three, click, two down. It's exposed properly. But what if they get really close to you? Oh my gosh, they doubled their distance. Sorry, they halved their distance. They're even closer to you. So now the, exp the ex exposure looks pretty good actually, <laughs> but each time it's half, <laughs> you have to lower your power by one full stop. Shoot your flash without looking because people will look at you when you're taking a picture and you don't want them to see this. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on guys. Hold on right there. Okay. No, you want them to see this. Hey guys, all right, stay with me guys, stay with me. Oh, you look beautiful, Stop you guys that. look awesome there. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, that's great. Yeah, what Stop up? That. All right, I hope that helped you guys. See you next time. Stop that.